TV 1055 exclusive, a move to modify red light cameras on Long Island. The plan is a response to claims that the cameras are rigged to rake in revenue and could be dangerous for drivers. TV 1055's Carolyn Gussoff is demanding answers about the cameras and the complaints. Suffolk lawmakers calling for major reform. They say drivers are confused in many of the locations where red light cameras are positioned, causing a pileup of unfair tickets and accidents. It started as one man's crusade. The so called red light Robin Hood taking on matters illegally. Some Suffolk lawmakers took notice. They're now demanding legal changes. This is about raising revenue without saying, oh, we're raising your taxes. At issue, quick yellow lights timed inconsistently, some less than three seconds long with cameras present. Wow, three seconds. Damn, that's dangerous. Offending drivers caught short get slapped with tickets. All of a sudden it'll turn orange. Okay, the last second and then turn red immediately. So there is no time for you to stop. Then there are these so-called mixed signals. It goes to yellow to red and then two seconds later to green again. Former cop Rob Trotta calls it a trap configured right after cameras went up. They're giving you a short red light and the people are either slamming on the brakes or running through it and getting an $80 ticket. I mean, clearly there's no safety issue because there's no one coming. The light was green. We believe this is really gotcha law enforcement. People are getting banged for tickets that they don't deserve, quite frankly. They're taking on this contract, which awards the vendor a hefty percentage of fines and sets a minimum number of violations. A quota? Safety's first, um, but we, you can't deny that it creates revenue. Of course it does, but, you know, you're creating revenue um, trying to change behavior. The head of Suffolk's traffic agency says there's no quota, and yellow light length does vary, he says because it's based on the road speed limit. Is the county deliberately placing the red light cameras where they know the yellow lights are short? Absolutely not. But auto body shops report an uptick in rear end wrecks. It's always been you slow down and you take precaution when you see a yellow light. Now it's more, you know, speeding through it, slamming on the brakes, a lot of people getting caught in between. The county says accidents with injuries are down. AAA still waits for requested accident data. Several lawmakers here in Suffolk say they won't wait any longer on Tuesday, they plan to publicly call for the red light camera program to be dramatically scaled back or stopped. In Suffolk County, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, TV 1055.